What's up everybody, California Mechanic 559. Well, this morning I noticed that <clears throat> I turned on my heater to defrost the front window and uh, the fan was working, but there was no hot air coming out. So I'm pretty sure it's a relay. Uh, we're doing it on a Dodge Challenger 2016. I looked at the stats right here. Well, it says uh, rear defroster, so I'm wondering if that's going to be the front defroster as well. It's going to be your relay. Um, where it's going to be at is in your trunk. Now, due to these big old speakers, I'm having to replace relays all the time because of the vibration. Uh, because of the fact that it is right underneath the speaker box, basically. So, let me get this propped up in here for you so you can see what I'm doing. Alright. Now your fuse box is going to be right in the trunk. You're going to be, it's going to be right next to the battery. You're going to want to pull the dust cap cover off by pushing in that tab. Just go ahead and push in on it, lift up. So it says on here number 29 is the defroster for the rear window so i'm going to check and see if it's going to work on the front window as well all right so oh 28 is the rear defroster sorry about that all right so on here it's going to be that's going to be number one that's going to be number 28, 29, and 30. So you're going to want to pull out your 28 relay. This is not the exact one that's supposed to go in there, but it'll work. Oh, yeah, you can see a little bit of heating issue right there on the side. So, yeah, it definitely is my relay. See that? It is not supposed to look like that anywhere around it. So it was definitely overheating. Anyways, go ahead and plug in the new one. I didn't pay attention to what position it's in. Give me a second. Ah, hold on. I can't see down here. So, okay, so that went in like that. I don't think it's going to let me put it in there because it's a different housing. It has this housing. See, I had to try to crack it off. Well, hold on. I know a trick to these. I could take this cap off of here. I don't recommend you guys doing this to your own vehicle. I mean, to your guys' vehicle, but this is my own. So I know that I will replace it as soon as possible. But I could take this cap off of here. All right, so now that I got the cap off, um, you can see the inner workings of a relay. If my camera will focus on it, I don't know why it's blurry right now, but um, all right. So I'll show you on a relay, whether it be your fan relay, your starter relay, whatever, you can always pull this cap off. And if your relay is working correctly, you can press that see there you go you can get your car to start you can get your fans to react all that stuff by pulling off this cap it's not going to shock you but you can just hold it down like that and it'll turn on or off when you let it off uh anything 
that has to do with the connection of this relay. So let me see if it's going to fit now that I took this cap off. See, no problem going in without the cap. It was just the cap was holding it. Sorry about the lighting. There you go. All right, so it's in there, but you see how it was just a little bit too close to the edge. So I have my old one right here. I ordered some new ones. This one will have to work for now until I get the actual relay with the dust cover on it. But for now, it should be fine pretty confident in that relay that it will have no problem so if you're having heater issues but the fan is still working check into your relay like I said I didn't even know but I pulled it out that's an indicator that it was overheating so it probably doesn't work anymore replaced it with a new one anyway so go ahead and hit that like hit that subscribe leave a comment I know so you can leave a comment if you want. I'm not really supposed to be pulling this cap off and doing that. But if you know a little bit about electrical, it'd be fine for now. Anyways, until I get to the auto zone or whatever to pick up a few more, it'd be fine. I mean, defroster is only being used in the morning to make sure the car is not too cold for when I get in it. Other than that, yeah, it's pretty good. Anyways, you have a good day.